Hey everyone. Uh, <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Holy shit. I'm fast. Um, a couple things. Especially if you have new uh, email. Uh, oh my god, that is like so blurry and like shitty. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Ah, like weird insect things. Um, but yeah, if you notice, like the email stuff sent out notifications. Um, it said I was trying to play Max Payne three, and that is true. I got Max Payne three in the mail uh, yesterday, and I downloaded it before I went to bed last night. Unfortunately, um, for whatever reason. Um, Max Payne 3 is one of the few games that you can't stream on Xbox. <laughs> and I found that out just now. <laughs> um, so, unfortunately, I will not be able to conclude our, our thing. Which is really, really disappointing. So yeah, that's um, that's an unfortunate thing that uh, uh, we're gonna have to deal with, I guess. Um, Sorry, I'm just like totally trying to like, focus on not dying here. <laughs> Get rid of that. I think there's some crystals here and stuff. I received a lightsaber crystal. Noise. I'm gonna keep the armor on though, um, just because I only have one force ability that does that restricts me. So I'd rather keep the. Uh, the extra defense, but as we get more force ability, we'll have to take away the armor, unfortunately. I guess that's one of the drawbacks. <laughs> Which is weird, because you saw Jedi use armor all the time, especially during this age, right? They all wore, like, awesome suits of armor.
so yeah, um, yes, okay, now that it's kind of calmed down here a bit, we can actually talk. Um, so yeah, unfortunately, I'll probably have to play Pain 3 off stream, which is really shitty because I got two playthroughs on this channel, that's on my YouTube page, um, and it looks like it's going to be like a really fun experience, but, uh, from the, for the most part, I saw that, like, yeah, Max Payne 3 is just... Because I tried restarting the game, I tried uh, starting the stream and then playing the game. I tried having the game going, like, I already started the playthrough and then start recording a little bit afterwards. Because I know someone said, like, oh, I was able to play just after the warning screen. Um, so, yeah, it just, um, it just sucks. Uh, but I guess it's just one of those things that's kind of out of my control. Unless... The only other way is if I have a capture card and a piece, like a different stream setup, which I don't have at this moment. So, yeah. Um, and <laughs> I guess for other people who are watching this for the KOTOR stream, like you're probably thinking this is a this is boring, pointless, shut up, start playing. Um, and I apologize for that. I thought I would just give a heads up to why um, <laughs> uh, you saw, you know, to the followers you saw, you know, Max Payne spammed in your notifications, and that was why. Um, we're going to save here because we got a lot of crystals. Um, uh, maybe I'll look into it more. This, uh, this weekend but uh, it seems like it's just one of those things where like it's one of those games that fell through the crack on Xbox's side and so it's just blocked <laughs> alright just checking the audio we all good wait more Mandalorians good night out Dude, you can. Man, I cannot, like... That was danger close. <laughs> that was really hard. Wow, we... Repair kit. I really want to level up so I can get that better, uh... Healing. <laughs> Just a bunch of mines and stuff, okay. Oh, so it's just the same data pad. Okay. But yeah, I really... Wait, am I close to leveling up? Because... Alright, I'm very close to leveling up. Are perfect. We'll get that upgraded uh, healing.
I'm actually gonna die. <laughs> I'm actually gonna die. You know what? I actually I'm gonna start upgrading uh not treat injury because I'm gonna start using force. I'm gonna start upgrading my persuasion. Oh, I don't get that till level twelve. Oh, that sucks. You know what? Let's, um... I don't know. What do you guys think? Should I do tanking? Or... This just makes it harder to hit me. And then that gives, uh... Um... You know? Yeah, we'll do force. Oh, I thought I had two for some reason. Wait, am I in combat right now? Nah. Um, how close is this boy out to leveling up? Oh, he's still another five thousand. So if I lose, let's say I put on. Clothing. I lose like almost 10 defense, yeah. But. And this means like, like if I put on light armor, this means I can't, yeah, so I can't even use light armor. All right, got it. I got it, I got it. Ready? What? There. Save that. Unfortunately, today's stream will probably be a, um, 
a shorter one just because of how, trying to get that max pain stream start. It took up so much of my <laughs> my time just to find out that I can't even do it. I should probably put on Force Aura before I get into fights. Alright, this has to be like a Mandalorian base coming up here. Alright. Because we totally got sidetracked in the terms of like <laughs> doing our mission for the Jedi. Wait. No, we're back. Huh. Where the hell are we? I don't even know where we are. This is private property. My orders are clear. Please leave immediately. Yeah, I don't want to, like, do a B and E. Okay. Well, let's keep searching for those, uh, those Mandalorians. Oh shit. Oh. All right, you. I want you to do rapid shot. Thank you. Yeah. Holy wowie. So that's where we're supposed to go, I think, is over there, right? Yeah. We're, uh, <laughs> we're just somewhere else. Where does this go? I'm pretty sure this means we're back at the actual. Natural estate. And that goes back up north. Oh, this is where we eventually met the, uh, the first group of Mandalorians. Okay. Ooh, sorry about that. Just, uh, just my thing. Wait, who are you? Achuta, Unga could be stolpy, Kikuyana. Don Patuga smack tele. Unga dijo, Unga could hunker be. One of the best chick mucha shark pahat. Kiyeno no nama paole, Rachikun, Takunju stak miki, gravel mogo. Kachichu Nita 
So Handon isn't armed. So the guy is missing a rifle while out in the field, which is dangerous, and he's holding his side. Okay. Okay, okay. So apparently the droid has information, right? Greetings, apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help you. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by if you have any. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on board the Metic, Ricard Lusov, and Handan Gold. I have also had time to examine the box. Is there any information? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you... My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed before... Is there any other in... These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Hiriyas are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to... There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cat hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago. And that one guy doesn't have one. Tall farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe risk. Is there any other... I want to talk to this uh, Hanson guy because he doesn't have a rifle. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Well, I presume you wish to hear my story then. I shall tell you, of course, but oh, excuse me. there's not much to it. I'm sure that you'll agree that Rickard is... You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway, I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river. And I knew something oh, so maybe that's why he didn't have a rifle, because he's running. running. I called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. But he's pointing the finger at the other guy quite a bit. And that's what liars tend to do, is that they direct anything from themselves and name another person. Another so. Jedi, huh? Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it, and it drops. I walk over here and find Handon standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handon to the prison? Stun in his eyes. I want to look at the body. Where's the body? ちょっとバンクチェドバドワナニディボボトンガブンシャヌヌニャトンハイトワンジジジョンブルンパニタポエティキトトルファダボンゴレオガンドナチュチュトカチチュイタドンドンガユマリタムチェシャルパカトタコ
Guama Huhu Nanda Kick. Ah, Shotungi Patoga. One of Kuzbe Ching Palamule Donke. How can I be a further assistant? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. How can I be a further assistant? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. Yes, quite often. I generally prefer a healthy body will breed. How can I be a further assistant? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his... I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Baloop came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and... Of course. Of course. Yeah, I wanted to, like, go and investigate other shit, but, like, I guess you have to stay in this area. <clears throat> So, what do you want to... I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some eerie ass. Having... Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one. Like I said before. I shot. Pow! It went down. But when I come over here, there's hand... Now, I don't have nothing to do... So, what do you want... Well, I was out hunting eerie ass south of here. And I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. There wasn't an eerie as in sight. I think he might have taken it. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So, what do you want? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. I don't know, man. I think it's the other guy. So, what do you want? Right. Yeah, what do you want? Your choice. I... Is there any other information? My preliminary in is there any other These planes are right. They have been over saw farms and hold it. Is there any other in Very well. <laughs> yeah, cause like there's no way you'd be running out here with fucking no blaster. Wait, to the south. Yeah. And this blaster is in the back, which means he came from that way, which means there's no way in hell um, uh, Rickard did that. Sure, the sun was in his eyes, and it makes sense that he maybe could have, you know, shot it. But no. Yeah, no, it's definitely fucking handgun. And the way he responded to being injured, you'd probably know what happened was uh fuck maybe this guy actually shot him <laughs> but he doesn't want to own up to that because then uh you know and he's wearing a white outfit too well i guess they're both wearing white outfits but yeah and the reason why he's not owning up to him being shot by him is because then you'll have to answer why he was there by the body right beforehand so I think, yeah, no, I'm going with him. That's what my gift says. Oh, cool. Runda di hot dog, kun hunka di takung jus tak miki grabble mogo. 
Jedoba <laughs> Oh my god, but I totally forgot about the weather. That's like the most important part. All right. All right. How can I be a further assistant? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. Of course, of course. So, what do you want to... Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our... We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit-to-ground transport operations. Ooh, maybe killing him for extra now. money. I should probably... Right. Oh, uh, uh, Kachi <laughs> kun According to the municipal authorities near the Darrow spaceport, there have been news of violent drunken activity in the cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Metic about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any other... In yeah, see, there was a... Uh, see, I don't think, um... Uh... I know, like, at the start, I thought it was this guy, but now it's really pointing to the other guy. Oh. 
They disagree sometimes, yeah, but when you're heated, you know, I mean, come on, it's like the biggest cliche in the book. Alrighty. I'll talk to the droid first. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Kumba. Is there any other information you need? Very well. I will be... So it's not Calder's weapon, so it has to be one of their two. Alright, well, let's talk to this guy first, then. How can I be of further assistance? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be a further... But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. My wife was cheating on me with him. I slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But, as much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must Wait. try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Into oh, okay, this kind of changes things a little bit now. Because that's his weapon. And sure, yes, when, you know, the guy was over at his house, you know, with his wife, he could have taken out the front door with him when he left, but was more like I still think my original theory was correct. Sure, the other guy was lying about the sun in his eyes because it was cloudy. But I think what happened was he shot him with his own rifle that, and then put it on his body. But then the other guy mistaken him for an animal and then shot him in the side. Of course. Of course. Which is why he's not admitting it, right? Because he's the murderer. Why, is, why was he there, right? So, what do you want to... That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Okay, always see? I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichani's make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That blaster ain't it, though. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else. Alright, and that fits into, uh, my narrative, too. So, what do you want? Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and train. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years. And we've been doing just fine the way we are. Right. <laughs> right. All right. I, I, okay. I went, I jumped to conclusions. That's my bad. But again, I think my original uh, story was correct. Uh, I want to say. Okay. Uh. Runda di Hotonga kun hanka di. Is there any other info? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched and I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report, Mr. Cool. Is there any other info? All right, so I had to, that's dumb. I had to talk to this guy first and then come back over. Oh. 
کچی کون ایده ها دنگا یکین موچه شد بخند Wait, what? I seem to blow on the weapon block. Oh yeah, I have to talk. Okay, I have to say, like, do I have to run all the way back or something <laughs> to like this? Is there any other it had been sent back to the end. The blood on the weapon is definitely not all right. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory. We cannot get any more specific enough. Is there any other bacterial? Alright. Holy man, this is a long line of like questioning. <laughs> it's almost gonna have to fucking fill in no paperwork here pretty soon, I think. How can I be a further assistant? Injured? No, of course. How can I be a further? Um, well, you see, Calder was involved in some pretty sordid business from time to time. More disreputable business practices, even more disreputable clients. I've even heard he had dealings with... Now, I bet you're wondering if I had any reasons to kill the man, but I tell you, I hardly knew him. I saw him once or twice, certainly nothing that would make me... Knock his block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder... Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not a very nice person to me, or... I had had my suspicions for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife. Right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. But... As much as I may, it may have been my own fault. For I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce. Of course, of course. Hmm. So, what do you want to know? Well, I... So, what do you... You Jedi are so predictable. Always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. Well, can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We've been partners. So, what do you... Right. I don't know how else to like. Is there any other information? I have just received back the blood on the weapon. We cannot get any more. Is there any other? Very well. I will. How can I be a further? It has to be him, right? Because his is just like a limp on his leg. This guy's like holding his fucking side. But you never examined his wound? Hey, 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 what are you doing? Yeah. I was off at the start there because of the whole song. Ooh, oh no, I got this. My opinion is the other way around. Uh, 
Uh, yeah, because like the rifle too. You know what I mean? Like, why would he have the guy's rifle? Unless he stole it, but he didn't report it stolen. No, it has to be hands. Yeah, and Rickard accidentally hit him. I can leave now, then. What? No! Tong abog sha umino? Wonga kumbis king balemuraya. No! If I'm going, I'm not going alone. You don't know what you've done! Look, I came out here, I admit, to kill Calder, but so did Rickard. He must have thought it was Calder when he shot and hit me. So I'm going to prison, but I shouldn't be going alone. Did you idiots have to let the slime ball go? Yes, you ten I came out here and killed Calder, but Rickard was here to do that. Tong Haitwam Jiji Jung Lumpa Nita Poe Tikito Dolfa da Bonqualeo Ka Chikun Ita Haldonga Yiking Kuno Baba Chuta Wonga Kun Bis Dolpi I mean, come on. We still solve the case, though. <laughs> like... <laughs> I mean, it's, it's not like we were like, oh, hey. But yeah, like... No, I, I talked to the droid. Oh, no, you know, I, I didn't ask... I didn't make the point that there was any, like, actual, like... Sheep up here, like... Docile animals, I guess. You know what? We should probably give uh, our homeboy. Because like, this is 2 to 7, right? Actually, we don't even have anything that's like better. <laughs> now that I think about it. No, he has like the best shit. Wait. I think that's a Manda. Wait, don't tell me this is where like the Mandalorian was staying like this whole time. Ready? Yeah. This is the meddler. You have caused us far too much trouble for a mere Jedi. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own.
Holy shit. Okay. He's pretty tough. Um. So. You know, let's kill this guy first. Before we do anything. I think we have to pop a bunch of shields and stuff. Alright. Ready. Huh? What? So I'm gonna pop a shield. You're gonna pop a shield, and you're gonna pop a shield. Yeah. Alrighty. So we're all popping shields. Great. Alright. Now this is I will add your Let's um throw a poison grenade. That you know what? Let's also throw a I got a poison grenade here, right? There we go. Well. better you know what I think we should throw two poison grenades maybe and then uh... I'm gonna go over here so like get a better line of sight on them uh, so now this is I will add your all right so I want to throw. I want to throw plasma myself. I think you should throw a poison there, and then you should throw a poison over there. Yes. All right. Now I want to throw a plasma there, and you're gonna throw a plasma there. And you're gonna throw a plasma there. You know what? It's sad because we're so close. We're so close. Ah, uh, so now this is what I, I will add your head. Wait, what do concussion grenades do? I should probably look that up. Cryo beam. Am I blind? 
concussion grenades. All right here. Okay, so we actually probably want to do a Sonic and then and then I did not mean to do that. I wonder if I should like... I don't know, man. Do I have anything? Let's see how this goes. Uh, so now this is <laughs> I will add your There is this I want to do that. And then You know what we'll do? We'll just we'll put a we'll put a sock in it. <laughs> we can't fight this guy right now. We'll just make note of this. So this is This is by uh this site here. Um So I do recall the site where we actually have to go to all tough stuff. Yeah, it's um I think what I'm gonna do, my plan is to uh do this actual main mission of going to the cave. And then bring back because like right now we don't have access to the Jedi, right? But I imagine if I bring that Jedi with me, we could probably take down those Mandalorians a lot easier. Also, I have a bunch of crystals and stuff like that for my lightsaber, so I also have to go back and go back and upgrade that. So a couple things. We'll, we'll do a couple things and we'll come back to that. 
no rush. I thought I would kind of try some different stuff there, trying different shields and pump me myself full of stimulants. But I just don't think I'm the right level for it yet. So what we're going to do, we're just going to... I think this is where the cave was, right? I want to say... Yeah. Yeah, the thing about wearing the basic stuff is that um, a lot of the force abilities, um, you can't wear armor, right? Like, uh... Like, for example, like, see, like, right here. Yeah, restricted by armor. Um, Canterus? Oh, you know what? I could... Good call. I think I could actually... <laughs> I'll put on, like, some actually really good stuff here. Yeah, see, this is what... This is what chat is for. Right there. <laughs> um... We're also putting Mandalorian shield on him too. And I like his repeating blaster. Can't go wrong with that. And then he has the damage from uh from Davix Visor too. So perfect. Good one. Good call. Good call. I totally forgot about <laughs> his armor. I don't know about this door. And there's... You haven't done the other trial. Your journal should tell you. I know I, I um for like this Jedi trial, I uh I'll have to go back. I was about to say like maybe I have to go back and talk to the council with the uh with the Padawan until okay, yeah, that makes sense. Meanwhile I'm there I'll also upgrade some of my stuff. So it has been a bit. Clear out these beasts while we're here. I think I can walk, run by all these guys. We'll see. Oh, I can also talk to this uh, farm lady too for getting her droid back. We did that a while ago. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. 
It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home right now and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry. I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never ever <laughs> get away again. <laughs> There's something, uh... Uh... Yeah, I'll, I'll just leave it at, uh... At that. Well, you forced a drug. I didn't force in my defense. I just said, like, hey, man, like, leaving a grieving woman by himself. Kind of going to throw her over the edge, probably. So maybe, to, you know, just talk to her. I wonder if I should actually buy this armor for my guy, too. Light repeating blaster, heavy weapon. One to eight. Does this guy have any? No, he doesn't. All right. Cool, cool. Have you found the Mandalorian? Good. Good, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must... Thank you, young Jedi. Yeah, so that's the leader we have to kill. We'll do that. The like I said, we'll do that in a bit. After we do a couple other things. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome. Oh wow, they actually took her back. I... I was honestly not expecting that. I have spoken to the council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side. To see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You. Back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I have proved Yeah, this one's kind of a... Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force in the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. All right, cool, 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 cool. Um, glad that uh, you weren't like executed on the spot because I totally thought that was going to happen, low key. But I said over here. I think this is where the workbench was, right? Yeah, it's over here. So. Yeah, we're going green because, you know, green's my favorite color. See, I can throw on... Okay, we'll throw on damage, obviously. But should I throw... Oh, well, fuck, we'll just do that. So we have a stun chance, too. Perfect. See, you know what? This will actually... Even just this alone... Um, um, on the Mandalorian fight, because if I could keep stunning his ass, like that's perfect. Um, attack modifier... 
Oh shit. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Let's uh let's just keep upgrading. <laughs> let's get that guy way more damage. Yeah, Kotor really shines light on the force religions. Yeah, so that's what I've been really liking about this too, is diving to more on the uh on the I don't know how to explain it. I guess pretty much what you said too, but like it's not just like the because with George Lucas's like movie, it's just kind of like you know like, oh yeah, you know Jedi appear good and stuff like that and can do no wrong, and then the Clone Wars, especially the animated series, really dive into like how politically driven they become, right, and become you know like generals and stuff like that, and yeah, and this just also shows like just some of the weird backwards way too of how they do things and like I. Honestly, when I sent that girl back, I'm like, there's no way. Like, she's still going to be, like, fucking imprisoned. She's going to be executed, like, or something. But, no, yeah. <laughs> That's all part of the... Well, part of the training. All right. Well, we gave him some. We got some upgrades. I got my my green lightsaber, so I'm pretty happy about that. If you have questions, you should direct them to. Greetings, young apprentice. Have you come seeking? No As a chronicler of the academy here on Dantooine, I feel it is my duty to share the history of our order with the newly initiated. Unfortunately, our recent history is one of tragedy and bloodshed. The Mandalorian Wars, the fall of Revan and Malak, the rise of the Sith. There are important lessons to be learned from these events, if we do not wish to repeat the mistakes of our past. This is going to be a fun ride for you. Yeah, I, I, I kind of hate myself that it took me so long to even try this game. Um, like I love Star Wars. I played all the games. Hell, we just played uh, Star Wars Republic Commando on this uh, on this channel not so long ago. I read a shit ton of the extended, you know, universe books. Again, Republic Commando from Karen Travis being one of my favorite series in the extended uh, in the EU. And yeah, like I I just love Star Wars. I'm not like the biggest Star Wars fan, but I still really enjoy it. And I love RPGs and stuff like that too. So it's kind of bizarre that I never played KOTOR 1 or 2 at all. Um, and it's kind of funny. Like this, these games were like the precursor, like like the the prologue to Dragon Age Origins, right? Like Bioware made these two games before Dragon Age Origins. And I love the Dragon Age series too. And it's just so cool to play this game. And see what they took from this game and what they learned from these two games and brought over to uh to dragon age um but yeah no it's, it's weird but uh we beat a lot of the a lot of the newer games that came out this year like uh we did elden ring tiny tina's uh elix and stuff like that so now that you know triple a releases have kind of slowed down i was like you know what screw it Let's uh as you wish. Let's just dive into this. And yeah, we've been playing for about like what? 8 hours now. Having an absolute blast. And we still have this full game plus a second one too and yeah, lots and lots of lots of content. It is good to see Johnny has returned to the way of the light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Go to Master Jar and inform him that Johanni has returned to us. I think you may be nearing the end of your apprenticeship. This is... I can't remember. This is Jar, right? Yeah. You have done well, my pupil. The angel has been purified, and Johanni's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. 
She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our order. Wow, we Dark Lord of Tech. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. We're almost we're almost halfway to uh to affiliate, which is still just absolutely mind-boggling. Um, you know, just started streaming, you know, a few months ago. So, you know, to everyone you know who watches and you know supports and stuff like that uh even on youtube too you know i just again deep appreciation for the amount of support that a small streamer such as uh myself is getting all right how close am i to leveling up oh wow i'm actually not too far off Aha, there we go. I now have Jedi robes. Perfect. Though I do look like a nerd <laughs> with uh, this visor on. I wonder what I should be using, though, for as a Jedi. If I should be using awareness, will. Oh, this gives me both. Oh, shit, never mind. Well, I might as well not use that thing. So now that I've done that. If you have questions, you should. Do I talk? The these training things? is now complete, Padawan. Yeah, okay. And perhaps now. It is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorok recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps. Oh, that was where I was before. The Force okay. Is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. So I totally got those flip-flops when they were talking about investigating the ruins and stuff like that. I thought instead of where we fought that Jedi... I thought where we were, that other place, like that bunker-looking place was where we are supposed to go, but <laughs> I guess I had it all switched around. Uh, we do not know. That is one of the things you must investigate. We fear the worst. Is there anything else you want to know? Bastila will be high someday. Even among the Masters and the Council, it is rare to find one so skilled in the art of battle meditation. Bastila was there when Revan was slain. Did you know that? Bastila herself does not like to talk about it. She was accompanying the strike team that confronted Revan when the Dark Lord was destroyed. Her role in the death of such a promising young Jedi as Revan upset her greatly. But Bastila knew she had to set her personal feelings aside for the sake of the galaxy and the Republic. The Force is strong with her now. And without her skill in battle meditation, we would have lost this war long ago. The way ahead will be difficult for young Bastila. And for you. But you must draw strength from each other. May the Force be with you. Hey! You know what? Yeah, we're having her. And we're also going to take our boy Cand here because he actually has all the upgrades. Um, and I don't really have much for cars, so we're going to do that. I demand justice. The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine. They must be punished. The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Metale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. 
And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk. I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own. As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised Arlen Matali we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. <laughs> Oh no, is the quest bad? <laughs> okay. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali. I guess. Oh, is it one of those type of quests where you're running back and forth nonstop? Your study and training are important, of course, but the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in our real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. I did not like how I solved this quest, but it'll be interesting to see how you handled it. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, we'll see how bad <laughs> how badly I uh I butcher this. Yeah, we'll do. No, you know what? We'll actually we'll keep Yeah, we'll save that point. All right, what do they recommend? Disable droid. Isn't that like a dark Ooh, that's actually pretty good. Disable droid. Um, you know what? No, let's uh, let's actually remove. Let's not do that. Let's do this one here, where she uh, yeah, increases our uh, our physical stuff. That'd be really good for um. Yeah, we'll just make her super aware. And she's using a double-bladed lightsaber, right? So, yeah. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. And then for powers... Um... If we do that... Force resistance... Wait, where's stasis? Am I blind? Oh, right here. An opponent target with this power is on stasis. I'm able to move for take. Ooh, you know what? That's actually good because again, with that Mandalorian, she can free them, and, uh, and then we could actually like. Yeah, perfect, perfect. Um, wait, I might be able to upgrade her lightsaber here too. With something. I can. I will throw a little bit extra attack on that baby. There we go. Perfect. We are in operation. Okay, so we have a couple things we can do here. Perfect, perfect. Um, shit, it's already one o'clock. I didn't even eat lunch yet today. I haven't 
My day's been kind of slow. <laughs> um, Alrighty. Well, I think this is going to be a perfect time to end the stream. Uh, I do have to go to work here pretty soon, but I still have to like eat and stuff like that and shower and get ready. Um, but the cool thing is, now that I'm doing these four 10-hour shifts or whatever, um, I'll have Friday, Saturday, and Sunday off, right? So um, I'll be back later tonight. And I will also will be probably be playing this all day tomorrow. We'll really start to kind of sink our teeth into KOTOR. Um, and yeah, like I said, we, we did a lot today. We got a bunch of, you know, Kyber crystals. We got, uh, we got a new lightsaber upgrades. We finally became a Padawan. And now we got our Padawan robes. Uh, we upgrade our boy in the back there. And yeah, when we come back, we'll probably tackle that really shitty side quest. Or that, not shitty side quest, that unique side quest there. And, uh, also look into that, into that temple place too. Um. Thank you again for Dark Lord of uh, of Tech for the follow, and thank you, uh, Virtual. I might be saying, is it Boko? Boko? <laughs> um, thank you for the follow too. Holy man, two follow uh, followers and in one stream. That's uh, that's just crazy. And with that, we're actually now officially halfway to. Halfway to affiliate. And yeah, I don't... And again, it kind of sucks about the whole Max Payne 3 thing. I really wanted to stream that game too, but uh, I don't think I'll be able to. So I might have to play that off stream, which sucks. I would have liked to conclude the whole trilogy playthrough on the channel. But uh, yeah. But anywho, again, I'm rambling now here. I'm just blown away by like just the support you guys are great thank you for dropping by watching this you know random person play you know a super old game and i will see you guys later tonight all right peace